Yeah, welcome back. The second session is on uh, decision making skills. See, the prime job of uh, a manager or a head of a family or a head of a institution or a head of an organization is to make decisions. So there, there are many instances where we make uh, or uh, take decisions which may be right, wrong, or sometimes no impact, or uh, whether it is right or wrong, we have to take a decision. In many times, we have to see that it is in the ethically right and legally right decisions than just acting upon uh, the impulse. So, the most successful decision makers don't act on impulse, intuition, or even experience alone. They have a system that they think through a step-by-step -step and they call this as a decision making. The process of making a decision is yeah, decision making. The decision may be right or wrong that when we evaluate, we will come to know. So acting upon impulse, what is impulse? I know today is the last day and uh, can we have it uh, more interactional than uh, one-sided? You will be finishing it uh, today. So... What is impulse and intuition? Ma'am, impulse is doing something without thinking or a forethought or something. What are the consequences? Don't think. Yeah. Of, like, that is impulse. Yeah, intuition. Intuition is like you no know, thinking the consequences. It may happen like that. If I do take this decision right now and what, what is the consequence of that? So that is the assumption. See, uh, uh, impulse is, say, we are walking in uh, Devrajara's road. We have no intention to buy anything. We just see the window shopping and we just feel that, yeah, uh, we should buy this. That is impulsive buying. We are walking in the street and we just get the smell of uh, uh, the uh, our favorite dish and we just feel like having it. Yeah, this is impulsive we have no plans to eat or we have no plans to purchase. But we are walking in the lane and we just see the Pani Puri or a Madhya Churmuri and we just have it. That is impulsive. Intuition. Intuition. There are people say, no, uh, uh, they love it for sight and uh, yeah, they just see that and uh, they feel that uh, uh, they are made for each other or he, he or she is a soulmate. Yeah, uh, intuition. And there is a sixth sense uh, uh, that tells them that can happen only in Bollywood. Uh, yeah, they say that uh, uh, they knew that uh, they are uh, they are uh, the, they are together from long time. And, uh, these are the things uh, which we make uh, without any yeah uh, decisions or uh, without any systematic process on the spot. Yeah, we just think that our gut feeling says this. Our um, yeah sixth sense says this. It may it's a matter of chance again. It may work or may not work. Our experience alone, experience, yeah, I have done this before. I have conducted so many exams. I have done so many classes. It is one just of uh, uh, the other class. People may, yeah, uh, take that, um, uh, uh, see in yesterday's newspaper and the um, national uh, park, uh, there was an attack from rhinosaurus in uh, North Bengal. They say it's a one of the time uh, which never happened before in my yeah, experience. In 30 years of my driving, no animal attacked me like this. That can happen. So 
it, it can be through impulse or intuition or experience alone. Uh, people may take many decisions. They may not go through the rigorous process or critical thinking. Yeah. Or, uh, many of us take up a decision based on emotions, based on, yeah, uh, just like that. We just feel like uh, taking a, a decision and we don't think of uh, the consequences on the spot. On the spot, we just take off the decision. So the decision making is a uh, yeah uh, depends on it, it may be about the family career spirituality uh, or the life or the community or the health whatever the decisions which we take up yeah it can be um, uh, there will be very messy situation where there are many possibilities which may occur so the great decision is always possible. However, great decision don't all the fairy tale ends, but they achieve the best possible outcome under the circumstances. We may have seen photo finish, uh, the yeah film finishes where every happy ending uh, uh, with the decision, but it may not ha be happy with all the decisions. So uh, the all the decision may not end uh, happily or uh, yeah or right way. So there may be a chances that it may there is a deviation which may take place because of many things which influence the decision. So there may be a success or there may be a failure to achieve the goals. Yeah, you you, you may have a this uh, you have taken a decision to be in this career, and it may be right or wrong. Once you evaluate, you will come to know. Yeah over the time that the decision which you have taken is correct. Or many instances where we come across, yeah, we may act as a judge when there is a yeah, uh, union, when there is a uh, student's problem, when there is a colleague's problem. Uh, we act as a judge to make many decisions. So which may be right or wrong, it depends on the situation where we are taking and depends on many other uh, things which are involved with the decision. So no one makes the right decision every time, but by developing your decision-making skills, you can increase the success rate. It is not that whatever the decision we take will be right always, will be good always. So as it is, um, there will be human errors, we will be under stress, we, will, we cannot concentrate, we cannot uh, yeah, uh, listen to the problem problem properly. We, we are not seeing the uh, thing where, yeah, uh, there is a saying in Kannada, protection odi daru pramani seen odu. So we, 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 we have seen one-sided story many times, other side we are not seen. Uh, it can happen. E e though we are there on the spot, where there is some event which is occurring and uh, uh, there is something which is wrong doing happens and we can see only from the uh, point of view where we are seeing there may be a myopia yeah, uh, in uh, decision making because we may not see the other side of the story many times. So that can happen with the decisions also. So qualities of a decision maker, that, yeah, intuition is something you feel, gut feeling. That's a moral we have. Yes, yeah, uh, right or wrong. There is a moral thing, yeah, uh, which over the year which you have developed, which says that is wrong. What what I am going to do is wrong. Uh, that can act as a judge or uh, control the. Uh, other things which may bias the decision. So being empathetic, standing in the shoes of others, it it's like being in others' place, being in a parent's place or being in a student's place, being in a victim's place and to see what what will happen to us if, if the same thing happens to us. Yeah, how we feel if the same thing happens to us is being empathetic. So imagine yourself in the other side. 
and seeing what happens to us if the same thing happens to yeah uh, whatever happening to other person happens to us then it is uh, it will solve most of the problem yeah it will uh, improve the way we treat others it will improve the decisions also so uh, many times we fail to imagine uh, other person as a human being other person as a uh, same like us same like a yeah uh, a parent or same like a, a student all these things will uh, uh, lead to a autocratic decisions or a one sided decisions and we'll try to impose whatever good for us for others and it may not be it may not uh, in the long run it may fail yeah uh, in the instant it, it you game you may get a solution you may feel that you are successful but um, the other side yeah they are in the long run you, you will fail analytical skill and knowledge analytical skill is using a logic or to see yeah uh there is a fact and uh, there is a uh, science behind it and there is a process where which can be analyzed with the uh, analytical skills so ability to use a logic to examine and uh, measure a problem so all these are the qualities which uh, the decision makers take up for a good decision making be honest and accept the responsibility use time wisely it is like uh, uh, just giving a preach but when you are in a uh, situation it is very hard to be responsible or to be honest or to be yeah uh, take a quick decision at that particular time all this will be yeah when we practice that it will be hard it is easy to tell that yeah we we'll be responsible but uh, when you are in that particular situation yeah accepting the responsibility say the minister resigns that is department is corrupt he has to accept that responsibility that because he is a minister of that particular department yeah he owns the responsibility that yeah uh, his department is corrupt and he resigns from the position only if he accepts the responsibility of yeah and he should be accountable accountability everything goes hand in hand authority and responsibility authority is a position position in the individual votes say minister of the any minister of particular department district minister something happens in his district and he holds the responsibility though there is a police though there is many bureaucrats working under him he has to take the responsibility that it is his responsibility to look after the department and it is the same with the head of the institution head of the family yeah it is not just blaming others you have to accept the responsibility of a family or a institution so that will help you in the decision making so next is bad decision bad decision is confused unsure unclear yeah disoriented perplexed and yeah lost you are lost somewhere so it's unrealistic expectations make uh, yeah quick decisions and take uh, necessary action and these are the bad decisions which uh, uh, people may take so there are six steps which uh, the thinkers have come up with uh, to make a good decision in our organization or in an individual life so first thing is to wherever there is a power you, it is accountable and uh, the person is responsible for that activity and that uh, is accountable and there is an responsibility attached to the position so if you are in the top position when you make a decision yeah 
the consequences of each decision should be worn by you or uh, any responsibility yeah say uh, there was a ban in uh, uniform yeah uh, people uh, the inst many institutions said uh, we need in uniform we don't need uniform so the decisions the organization takes has its own consequences so when you have taken up the decision say the helmet rule the government uh, uh, said there is a helmet for pillion rider also both have to wear the helmet this is a decision which I, the government has taken. What are the consequences behind this? Yeah, the rider and the the person who is sitting backside has to wear the hel helmet, and it is for the safety of the rider and the person who is going along with him. That is what the government claims. So there are many other issues also involved along with this. So when you take that particular next government comes and they say uh, the the compulsory helmet is not required. Those who wish to save their life can wear the helmet. So there are many decisions like this which are taken in a when they have power when the government uh, can impose uh, many of the decisions. So when you take up with the decision. First thing is, there should be a problem. Yeah, this, the decision making deals with the problem. What is a problem? What is a problem? Anyone? Ma'am, if something comes in a way of uh, doing things, becomes a hurdle, in the way mm -hmm. of the goal reaching, that, is, that itself is a problem. Yeah. From the desired state to the actual state, if there is a deviation. Yeah. Problem defined clearly is absolved. Many times we don't know what the problem we are facing. So problem defined clearly is absolved. Many times we cannot define what the problem is. Say, yeah, we have a, uh, uh, say there is some uh, chest pain. We don't know what the problem is until unless it is diagnosed. So it may be just, uh, yeah, uh, 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 just because you are strained or there may be a problem with the heart or there may be a muscle yeah, snatch or uh, there may be uh, something else. So the problem need to be defined clearly to solve it. It is off solve when you define it clearly. So for this, you have to analyze the situation, scanning, scanning the environment. Scanning the environment is diagnosis. Diagnosis, say doctor uh, cannot tell you what's wrong with you until unless you show him the report. There should be a, a, a diagnostic reports He'll ask you to do all the tests and then get the report and then only he'll tell you that uh, yeah, something is wrong with your stomach, something is wrong with your yeah, uh, body. All these are the things they can tell you with the diagnosis. So the problem, say there is an absenteeism of a student. They are not coming to the class. That's a problem. Absenteeism is a problem. What are the reasons for absenteeism? Students are not coming to the class regularly. Our employee is not coming to the class yeah, office regularly. What are the problems? Maybe the health issue. Health issue is one problem. Uh, I to work. Absenteeism. What are the reasons for absenteeism? One is health upset. He's, he cannot Family come. Problem. Family problem. Maybe working. The students are not coming to class. What is the reason? Maybe no motivation, otherwise, their child labors hmm. helping their parents in their yeah, work. they are they are earning for their family or they, they don't have work. yeah. 
parents are um, they are working sometimes strict, strict rules of the school if they don't like the teachers yeah they don't like the teacher yeah whatever uh, they say yeah they just come sit go uh, they don't like to see the face of a teacher they don't like to see their friends maybe right. friends are not good are yeah the rules of the institution is not good for them are they cannot follow are there may be a language problem yeah whatever the teacher says they don't understand are there may be a divide yeah the others the friends are yeah well off and he is not or she is not there may be an inferiority complex they feel that yeah they make fun of them are he may be living so far there is no hostel facility are uh, traveling every day there are many problems for students not to come to the class or uh, there may be someone who is threatening or there may be someone yeah who is liking which he, he or she don't like there are many problems yeah there may be personal problems yeah Uh, father may be drunkard or mother may be a daily wage earner or yeah, there are so many things which we have seen with the students everywhere and uh, uh, diagnosing the problem is very important instead of just playing 75% attendance is mandatory and uh, he should come to the class and we cannot allow him to take up the exam yeah these are the rules but when do you yeah when you only follow the rules uh, there is no uh, um, point in it when you just follow the rules 75% attendance is mandatory without considering his health issues without considering his uh, economic or uh, social background or without considering uh, his family background all these are not humanistic it is only technically technically we are right legally we are right but uh, ethically we are wrong when we make this type of decision yeah we may fail ethically because we are not uh, giving him a chance in par with others when we only consider 75% attendance is mandatory there are many considerations in, uh, for a girl child or for a boy uh, there are many things which may hurdle Uh, their presence in the uh, campus so these are the things we need to consider when we diagnose this kind of problem see uh, there may be another case where uh, uh, the employees are leaving the organization employees leaving the organization is a problem so how do you address this what are the reasons for employees to leave the organization yeah anyone else leaving the organization there is some there could be number of reasons uh, for example mm. they are getting enough uh, payment or wages uh, infrastructure facility or the work environment Yes, the boss is not good, or the colleagues are not good. The working environment is not good. The basic facilities are not there, or they you you may get the better opportunities outside. Yeah, the salary is is less here. You may get the better salary outside. There is no growth here. Or uh, his uh, decisions are not uh, valued. Is yeah is. his opinions are not considered all these are the things yeah where the freedom is not given for you to express yeah whatever you make uh, finding the fault in whatever you do yeah many things so you don't feel like going to that uh, workplace you want a change you need a transfer you need some other position 
so these are the things this is the problem which uh, organization need to address where there is a uh, boss or a head of the institution or uh, uh, they need to yeah introduce uh, a strategy to resolve this kind of problem so gather information how do you gather information the problem there is a problem so you have to answer all w's and h w is how yeah what which where when who why all this need to be addressed so why is the decision necessary what is the objective how can great decision can change things better whom will it affect when does it need to be made all this need to be addressed in a defining the problem and then diagnosis diagnosis i said um, the conscious effort to see the situation opportunity rather than just a problem these are the problems which we said why employee leaving the organization why there is an absenteeism of the student so so conscious effort to see the situation rather than just seeing absenteeism or the employee leaving the organization so then you list the alternatives options good yeah the more alternatives you consider the more likely you will uh, overlook the best solution so there can be when you generate alternatives you may come across two types of error the errors may be yeah when you screening this alternatives you may come across errors generating alternatives how do you generate alternatives with your experience with your knowledge with your with the consultants yeah consultancy with others or talking to the industry experts or talking to your seniors or yeah who is good at this to generate all the alternatives list all the options which you have now you have to you have generated 10 alternatives and you have to you can do only one or two yeah one you can uh, as a main plan and two as a the plan b you can keep it as a plan b so out of 10 you have to reduce that to one how do you screen this screening is yeah there may be a, a discussions which may take place brainstorming sessions all this can uh, yeah need to investigate thoroughly all the alternatives need to be investigated thoroughly and then you come down to one or two so you may come across two type of errors your one is go error and second one is drop error go error is you may go with the wrong decision you may make a wrong decision you may choose the wrong option that's go error and you may continue to the next step drop error is you may drop the best one you may drop the best yeah option because of the short sightedness or maybe overthinking or any other reasons yeah we may drop the best one or may we may go with the bad one this may happen here if we don't screen properly so that's called go error and the drop error so many times this happens with us at the end we will come to know that we have made a mistake we have done a wrong thing we have supported the wrong person yeah we have made a wrong decision these are all the thing which is called as go error go, we go with the wrong people we go with the wrong decision we yeah we support wrong things all these are go errors drop error is in in case of supporting the wrong we drop the good one we drop yeah we leave people we lose friendship with good one we leave good organization yeah we think that it is not our option and we leave the good options so that is called drop error 
So in screening that can ha happen where we have many options, if we have to do the screening properly. So there may be many alternatives. Yeah. If you already have an opinion on the matter, the natural tendency will be, yeah, there may be bias. We have prejudiced that, yeah, uh, certain certain people from this area will be like this. Yeah, we are prejudiced because we have read so, so many stories, we have read newspaper, we have read, we have seen in the media, and we are biased without thinking. So, welcome alternatives and opposing views. Criticism, criticism is. Yeah, someone says bad, we we'll, we should take it in a positive spirit. Yeah, constructive criticism. Constructive criticism should be taken into consideration. Instead of taking it as a negative, you have to consider that. See, if you have seen assembly meetings, yeah, where there is a opposition leader. Yeah, opposition leader is as much as required as a uh, chief minister. Without opposition, yeah, the, the assembly we cannot run uh, ethically, morally, and legally correct. So there should be an opposition leader and a team who will uh, counter the administration. So every time we have to take the criticism constructively, and we will come to know we are doing something wrong when there is a criticism. Yeah, even uh, parents say so many things. And children don't take it in the same spirit. Uh, yeah, they always uh, quarrel with the parents. Or they think the parents are very strict. All these things are a misunderstanding which may lead to bad decisions or a wrong decisions. So remember yourself that goal is not to prove yourself right, but to make the right decision. You may argue and prove that you are right, but uh, the, uh, the decision may go wrong. So all these are the things which need to be uh, taken in uh, when you make a decision. Consider your option. Write down the pros and cons for each. In brainstorming, this is what happens. There will be a group of people. The topic will be given. Say onion price is going high. Onion price is going high. Why? This is the topic given. So you write all the pros and cons. And see, yeah, each now it has come down, but uh, it has reached to 200 rupees once, once it was reached. In April, it will go up. When there is a wedding season or uh, there will be, yeah, uh, the functions, the price of the vegetables goes up. So there are many pros and cons which you need to think of before uh, fixing the price. Or, yeah, uh, people, uh, the farmers ask for uh, uh, MSP. Uh, the government uh, fixes the price. All these things, um, they have to think of uh, pros and cons uh, when they take up the decisions. So try to consider both the both the best case and worst case scenario for each option. So And uh, see if there is some way to combine several promising solutions in the solution. Uh, see, agenda, election is coming up. All the parties gives the agenda. Yeah, and we will uh, do this. We, if we if you elect us, we will do this. These are the uh, election agenda just to win the election. Then after the election, no one is bothered about uh, the promises which they have made. So political agenda. And everyone knows this and still they vote for them. So this has become a, a, a routine thing now. They don't, they don't put their mind before voting. So when, when you have to make a decision, you have to be true to yourself. Do any alternative, compromise your values. If so, yeah. When you, when you need to compromise on your values, see your value system, are the principles, ideology, you have to think before doing such decisions. So next is... Types of decisions which we make. Satisfying what is good or, um, at that particular time. 
is satisfying satisfying decision or come to the consensus come to the consensus and all of them agree and you go with the majority or satisfying decisions are heuristics heuristics just now i told you about uh, the uh, whatever our seniors are doing we just follow that rule of thumb yeah. uh, our grandparents doing this and parents are doing this and taking no decision is also a decision sometimes we will be quiet mom yeah we will not interfere we will we just they say monam samati lakshanam but not so when you don't say it it may not be a decision see government uh, uh, will be quiet for many things we are asking yeah um, the nps uh, ops or whatever uh, uh, government is quiet taking no decision is also a decision they don't react and taking no decision is also a decision many times and delaying a decision is also a decision say parents are asking what's your future plan we don't react they they tell you to do this that and uh, the kids don't react delaying a decision is also a decision the parents wants them to get married soon they they say uh, next year next year next year delaying a decision is also a decision taking no decision being quiet is also a decision because you are making that choice to be quiet there is a argument going on there is a far and against going on but you are quiet you are you have decided to be quiet and you are not supporting far or against and you are there so taking no decision is also a decision so creativity in decision making so many times we have to be creative creative is an ability ability of a person to use the skills creativity skills yeah it's a skill it's an ability of a person to grasp thing faster and to analytically you think of a solution so edward de bono is someone who has written so many books on thinking styles out of the box thinking lateral thinking parallel thinking six thinking acts these are the books written by the author edward de bono he has suggested many thinking styles yeah out of the box is we only look at yeah the bavi irokka petara we just uh, look at only the things we, which we are there are uh, yeah within the four walls within within the organization within the classroom we don't think beyond the boundaries beyond the circumstances the larger interest we may think of only yeah the people who are involved there may be a larger impact outside from your decision yeah you are answerable to the other stakeholders as well we are not just answerable to our students we are answerable to their parents we are answerable to citizens we are answerable to government we are answerable to the society all these are the things um, yeah out of the box thinking is also essential lateral thinking parallel thinking six thinking acts are the yeah seen six thinking acts if you can see in this image there are many yeah uh, activities that they have mentioned for each particular hat so there may be cautions benefits creativity feelings facts process all these are the yeah de bono has explained this in his uh, book uh, about uh, yeah yeah there is a problem there were two kids which are born on the same day same year same time they were not twins how is this possible this is just for a uh, just to it is just going out of the scene yeah may anyone answer this are we there can you hear me
Yes, ma'am. Yeah, this is for out of the box. So. Thank you. No, ma'am. Anyone? They are not twins. Impossible, no. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, there could be triplets also. It is not the twins. There could be triplets also. So, we don't think, uh, yeah, we don't stretch ourselves to think uh, beyond the boundaries. Only acceptable answers. We think that only one or two maximum. There could be a chances. Yeah, it's again uh, one in a lakh, one in a uh, million can happen. Everything can happen. Yeah, you cannot rule out. So, Next, moving on, there may be a decision styles, directive, analytical, conceptual, behavioral. If you can see this, yeah. Wait, so I'll just expand. Way of thinking and intuition. The rational way of thinking and intuitional. Yeah. Yeah. This is tolerance for ambiguity. This is way of thinking. You can have a, I'll just expand this more. Yeah. Rational, if, if you are rational, what is rational thinking? Rational thinking. Rational decision making. What is rational? Based on way of thinking and way of uh, uh, the, the tolerance for ambiguity, we can uh, uh, have four different uh, thinking styles, directive, analytical, conceptual, and behavioral. I know that uh, today is the last day and uh, all of you are mom. Yeah, uh, of, uh, all of you are happy that you are finishing the <laughs> short-term course for today. Uh, still... Uh, I just want uh, someone to. Ma'am, it is a uh, logical thinking. Yes. There is a reason. Logical thinking. That. Yeah. Always we have to make uh, rational decision making. Uh, we should be rational in our decision to avoid uh, ambiguity and to make uh, more uh, uh, decision which are not biased, which are not um, uh, prejudiced. So, there can be a directive style, yeah, and there can be an analytical style, there can be a conceptual style, and the behavioral style. And uh, the decision making will have an ambiguity, a lower level to the higher level. Ambiguity, what is ambiguity? Ambiguity, there is a confusion, state of mind. Where we cannot decide, yeah, we cannot, we don't know the problem, what we are facing many times, there's an ambiguity, there can be dilemma, yeah, we are stuck with two decisions, we cannot take one decision because we are in a dilemma, something is, yeah, stopping us to make one decision, there can be a certainty, uncertainty and risk, certainty is, everything is clear, easy, more information available, Easy to make decision. We know everything. We know the consequences. We know the in, all the information available. We know the parties which will impact. All this in a certainty. In uncertainty, we don't have a clear information. Everything is unclear. There is high ambiguity. 
and uh, there is so much of uncertainty no information available we don't know what what is will impact what is the situation of what are the consequences after the decision all this are the things uh, there is an uncertainty we don't know whether it will rain or whether yeah we want to uh, grow some crop in our land uh, there is some um, uh, weather report there is some um, uh, the, the report which are taken from the department that this crop will grow very well here there is so much of certainty still there can be an uncertainty we don't know in summer also it rains nowadays so there is so much of uncertainty in that particular area uh, that uh, uh, there is a chances that the crop will not grow properly so uh, the ambiguity the farmer is in ambiguity now to go with the decision or not to go with the decision yeah he, he, he cannot take a decision to grow that particular crop in that season so these are the things which may impact the decision and there may be risk also risk attached it may yeah it's again a chance chances it may do good or do bad so the ambiguity dilemma risk uncertainty which are not sure of success of a decision so it when there is a certainty you are 100% sure that your decision will succeed you know your kids you know your family you know everything is in your hand now so you take some certain decision which will be successful when you are taking a decision for others yeah when you are uh, the uh, external environment is involved you are making a decision for a entire state you are making a decision for a entire nation see in a lockdown government decided to lockdown entire india and uh, not to allow any flights and so such a decisions which are taken at the national level has a huge impact on many of the people Yeah, uh, the daily wage earners and the farmers and the, so many people are impact. Uh, there was an impact on their daily life or um, uh, or their job or the uh, uh, life or their um, everything was under threat uh, for a long time. So when we take a decision in a group, group decision. group decision is the decision taken when we have so many people uh, so many people are involved in our organization when we, we we cannot work in isolation and we cannot be autocratic like hitler when we are in a organization we have to take the opinion views of others into consideration in a democratic country like india we cannot take if you are a chairman if you are a hod if you are a vice chancellor you cannot take any decision on your own there is a syndicate there is a yeah uh, department council there is a uh, everything is a group decision you may initiate or you, finally you may take the consensus or you may take the uh, decision but uh, you have to respect the opinion of others so the brainstorming delphi techniques devils advocate multiple advocacy or these are the four uh, decision making techniques which we do in a uh, groups so brainstorming whatever the good or the bad opinions are everything need to be taken into consideration so there is some um, problem which is um, uh, raised and which is given to the employees many organizations have a think tank think tank is a one where problems are thrown their job is to just to think how to, what is the solution for the problem so their job is to only uh, searching for the solution for a problem which organization is facing so uh Uh, the, there is a problem uh, in our organization and uh, the, that problem maybe the quality is not good the product quality is not good 
So that problem is given to the think tank. So the think tank will work on this. Why the quality is not good? Quality of the product is not good. So in Nestle, um, Maggie, two minute may Maggie vanish from the market. So there was a um, chemical which was there in the food item which they did not notice till now and one day it comes out that it is not uh, um, uh, healthy to eat Maggie. So uh, the, uh, the problem is put across the um, group think, yeah? think tank. It is analyzed and it, they come to the conclusion that it is not healthy and there is a legal decisions from the government also uh, uh, said that it is not healthy to consume the Maggie. So Maggie is out of the market. The entire Nestle took back all the Maggie from all the retailers and they burnt it in a cement factory. To burn the Maggie, they spent crores together to burn the Maggie, yeah, take back the Maggie from the retailers and to burn it. So this was the decision taken by the large group of people and uh, Maggie is a multinational company. And finally, it lost its image. The Maggie was out of the market. So these are the decisions where you need to take uh, such type of decisions where there is so much of uncertainty, so much of uh, yeah, external environment is involved. The Delphi technique is also a one of the method uh, taken in, in a organization. So it is derived from the Greek word and it's an exploratory and uh, detailed procedure. Yeah, the process uh, of uh, coming to the uh, decision in an organization. You analyze, summarize, and then uh, take the feedback and then uh, see the results. All this will be a process. And devil's advocate. Devil's advocate say uh, the pre uh, prime minister takes a decision. And uh, there is a uh, person who, who is there to criticize the decision. Yeah, he, he is appointed by the prime minister to criticize the decisions of the prime minister. Say uh, the, the president of US takes the decision. There is a saying that if U.S. sneezes, the world gets the cold. So such a type of decision, it's a powerful country and whatever the decision the country takes has an impact on the entire world. So he has appointed few advocates who, who is there to criticize the decisions of a president of U.S.A. So their job is to criticize the de decisions of a decision maker, say Akbar Birbal. Yeah, you, you, have, you have studied so many, yeah, you have read so many stories where he used to criticize the consequences of our decisions uh, where Akbar takes uh, Tenali, Tenali Rama also. Yeah, uh, uh, Krishna Devaraya and uh, Tenali Rama. You, you have seen so many stories in the, yeah, where they used to criticize the decisions taken by the decision maker and to tell them the consequences. This will happen if you take this decision. Yeah, this will impact so many people and this will be bad yeah, or good. This is a job of a devil's advocate whose job is to criticize the decisions made by the decision maker and to make him to correct the decision or to improve upon the decision or to change the decision altogether because they are appointed by the uh, decision makers. The king used to appoint so many yeah, advocates in his um, yeah, empire whose job is to criticize. So the multiple advocacies, say many times um, uh, um, I have a... Uh, uh, this thing, chest pain and I'll go to a doctor, the doctor says the bypass should be done. I, I'm shocked. I cannot digest this. Then I go to another hospital and ask uh, another doctor, this is what is the report, whether I should go for this. 
मल्टीपल एडवोकेसी इज टेकिंग सेकेंड ओपीनियन आर थर्ड ओपीनियन मेनी टाइम वी डोंट ट्रस्ट वी लास्ट yeah if someone tells me something to do this i ask someone else whether it is right or wrong at home also we do that or regarding health we are very cautious and we do ask other hospitals other doctors whether we have to go for this surgery yeah or even the reports also we do it uh, uh, diagnostic uh, will be done second time to see whether there is a block whether we have to go for this uh, operation all these are multiple advocacy multiple advocacy is taking second opinion or third opinion and then deciding upon and uh, you you have to keep in mind that second opinion may not be the best opinion always no? <laughs> maybe second opinion may be wrong first opinion may be correct there it's your judgment finally it's your judgment to go with the uh, advices yeah you have taken the advocacy with the multiple uh, sources choosing the one is left to the decision maker finally it is the decision maker who makes the decision so judgment should be based on uh, you, you may take from many opinion finally the judgment is yours and then advantages disadvantages we know that we have experienced this many a times i'll just stress it uh, on it great pool of knowledge because you take uh, from the group different perspectives when i say it is it will be from only from my perspective when you add it to that it will be yeah uh, from the different perspective and greater comprehension increased acceptance disadvantages may be it is time consuming anyway and uh, social pressure minority domination log rolling and uh, goal displacement group think all this can be a... and uh, be open to the change if circumstances change once you make the decision and you have to begin to act on it better options may open up this is sometime referred to as boat and rudder effect you have taken the decision yeah it is not until the boat is in motion that rudder can come into the play but when it does it makes a greater maneuverability possible so there is a case study which is there train track and the children this is just a hypothetical your decisions may uh be different and it depends on uh, your uh, thinking ability and uh, this is just a story the story given here is a uh, quite interesting and really gives us insight into our decision making a group of children were playing near two railway tracks and one still in use while the other is disused there are two tracks only one child played on the disused track rest on the operational track out of yeah five four were in the operational track and one in the disused track the train came and you were just beside the track interchange you could make the train change its course to the disused track and save most of the kids however that would also mean that lone child playing in the disused track would be sacrificed or would you rather let the train go its way see there are two tracks now there is only one kid is playing in disused track and the four kids are playing in the operational track so let us make a pause to think what kind of decision we would make and the 10 minutes whatever whatever it is right whatever it is wrong there is no judgment on this it is your views there are two 
cracks one is operational one is dysfunctional more children are playing in the operational track and only one is there in the dysfunctional track now the train has come the uh, driver sees that then what he should be doing if he goes to disuse track he will be sacrificing one child yeah if he comes to the operational track he will be going on many kids so what is correct here Ma'am, here we cannot think of one child or four children sacrificing one or four children. If the track goes to the disused, disused means the entire train will topple. Yes. Yeah. Dysfunctional track, entire train may topple and all the passenger may die. Yeah, there may be thousands of passengers who are there in the train will be under threat if they go to the dysfunctional track. Any other views? So analyze the situation, think and reflect, decide your answer. Four kids are there in the operational track and only one is there in the... So now only one kid is right. Four are wrong. First thing is yes, playing in the operational track itself is wrong. Yeah, please. Yes, please. See, when this problem is thrown, most of the people choose to divert the train and sacrifice one kid to save most of the kids at the expenses of one child. Yeah. Many suggested this when they yeah, thrown this problem. And uh, there is other group which said, have you ever thought of the child choosing to play in disused track had in fact made a right decision to play in a safe place? Nevertheless, he had to sacrifice because of his ignorant friends who choose to play in the danger. So here, most of them said you go in one uh, where one child is playing who is correct actually who is playing in the dysfunctional wrong, but uh, yeah please nalakku makkalu train hoga jagadalu aadtirode tappalva madam howdu yes hagagi now adu horagade ira ondu magunna this is a case in the 
uh, which they discussed this case, majority said this because they are bound to save many without thinking about the right kid. Yeah, the kid which was playing in the dysfunctional area, as Madam said earlier, uh, running the train in the dysfunctional uh, track itself may uh, harm the passengers also. The train may topple and uh, all the passengers may uh, get killed. That can also happen. Yeah, along with that one child, all the passengers may be under threat. Here, there are four kids which are playing in the operational area itself is wrong. So, it is dependent on uh, the decisions which we make, the moral decision to make a proper decision here to, uh, uh, it is a hypothetical situation. Yeah. Uh, finally, they said that uh, uh, when they hear the siren of the train, all the kids went out of the track and track was clear and train went in the operational track itself. Happy ending. But uh, when this situation comes, even in our life, we come across such type of decisions where we, yeah, uh, uh, we may leave some of the friends, some of the family members and we go with the wrong people. Yeah, We go with, we may drop the right people. These are the errors which we make. In this situation, because they heard that uh, train siren, all the kids went out of the track and there was a clear track for the train to move on. But uh, it is just an hypothetical situation just to put ourselves in that situation and to think yeah, if the kids were our kids only, the one kid which was playing there was our kid, yeah, my child, then the, then the decision would be different. Yeah, the kids which are playing in the um, dangerous track, maybe someone else's kid are our kid. So, uh, the situation and the people involved and the time will decide many decisions which we make. So, we should be, uh, when we take uh, the decision only considering the legal requirement, we may go wrong emotionally, ethically, morally, we may go wrong. Yeah. Uh, sometimes only Taking a decision technically right may not be correct. So, there will be a dilemma. And uh, whatever it is, finally we have to take the decision. We cannot say, we cannot run away from the situation when you are a responsible position. So, don't be afraid to take decision. Everybody makes mistake. That's why we have erasers. So, thank you very much. We welcome your uh, comments and questions, queries, anything. Uh, Ma'am. That was just an hypothetical situation just to make us think in that line. Every answer is right and uh, uh, at the end, uh, no one was hurt and all, all the children are safe and all the passengers are safe and train is safe. That was just an hypothetical situation just to think of uh, this is, is emotions, ethical considerations, moral considerations, and legal requirements. All of you are right when we put our views because we are talking from our views and our opinions on this. It's a hypothetical situation. Uh, Ma'am, one question. Uh, you gave the example of Nestle that Maggie. Ah. Two minute Maggie that was taken away from the market and all. Uh, in India, as we know, there is a food authority. So it gives the product approval. Yeah. What that agency was doing before that product came to the market, because yes. it is playing with the lives of the people. After so many people consume that for several years, uh, 
somebody said the scientist and all they found out that there is a hazardous chemical in that before that so who is going to take the onus yeah it is uh, laps on the government side and the corruption it it is a white corruption which is uh, uh, there and uh, the global uh, leaders uh, uh, the business tycoons uh, who, are, who are doing such kind of businesses even in a uh, kinder joy kinder joy chocolate yeah e even there were toys which used to come with a uh, kinder joy chocolate yeah which was hazardous for the health of a kid kids used to consume that particular small toys it was so minute and the people kids used to consume that uh, toys and there were so many cases reported and it is a lapse on the government giving a license uh, to produce a maggi with the higher uh, uh, the, the chemicals in it there were some chemicals which are not used for the poor the authorities did not uh, maybe there was a corruption uh, and lapse on the authorities and uh, the, the when the maggi is out all the indigenous people started uh, produce even patanjali started producing maggi and all uh, yeah all the companies which are not into the noodles instant noodles started producing noodles and uh, everything the mar entire market was taken away uh, in that gap now maggi has come back they are advertising we are back we have come back maggi is back all this yeah they have put the banner everywhere that maggi is back still the reputation of a company and the hazard yeah the, the uh, health of the children was under threat when they introduced this do uh, minute me maggi because it was very easy for kid, kids to prepare on their own many have consumed this yet yeah, do minute me maggi was so popular that uh, a mom cannot prepare anything there was a maggi to substitute and ki kids are happy having maggi and it was um, uh, consumed by so many kids uh, and it is a lapse on government part yeah any other question please yeah finally you are uh, you finished the first half of uh, today and uh, i don't know what is there in the second half but uh, uh, you, you are finishing your uh, training today all the very best congratulations to you any other question you can ask me it's a lunch time yeah Any other questions, madam? One question: uh, You did talk about various uh, steps when it comes to uh, make a proper decision. Uh, we need to gather information. We need to first understand the situation, uh, gather information, evaluate the situation. But then, uh, what happens when we have to make a decision very quickly? We don't have that much time. Is there any specific strategy for making quick decisions? uh quick decisions it depends on your experience and uh, the knowledge which you have on that particular uh, thing you may go wrong but uh, uh, it is the reason where uh, uh, the top people makes decisions quickly because of their experience the end exposure experience exposure they have seen such cases many such cases and um, uh, see nowadays in a judiciary also there is an artificial intelligence coming in uh, there is a robot which they are introducing which will uh, go through all the decided cases and gives the judgment faster yeah the artificial intelligence being like a siri siri uh, or uh, your amazon uh, uh, that uh, what is that alexa alexa kind of thing which is a yeah, robot is coming to the judgment also to the court also nowadays in our developed countries they are uh, using artificial intelligence to go through all the cases which have, have a similar problem and uh, judgment uh, successful judgment is given and uh, it, it goes through the all the cases and gives the judgment faster that is what they are introducing right now it may be 
uh, wrong in india when you introduce it because each case will be uh, case will be different here and the situation will be different and uh, circumstances will be different but uh, for a quick decisions it is only your uh, knowledge and experiences you don't have to go through all these things and um, whatever uh, uh, comes to your mind on that uh, point of time which is ethically right and uh, you feel that it will uh, it will not cause harm to many then uh, that is the only way where you can take up uh, your exposure your experience and your knowledge is more important on that particular problem thank you ma'am